Are you dreading moving to Texas or just relocating in general? Well, here are five tips to make your relocation move a lot smoother. Hi guys, I'm Erica Parker. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. And go ahead and click that subscribe button because I drop several videos about real estate, attractions, and just living your best life here in the great state of Texas. Let's dive in into the five tips on relocation. So number one is going ahead and creating your relocation budget and going ahead and saving for that as well. Because here's the thing, relocating is not just moving costs, guys. This includes any kind of house hunting trip. This includes if you are terminating a lease or if you're selling, that's selling costs. If you're buying or you're deposit, you need to make a deposit on a new lease, or if you need to make a down payment on a new home, that's additional fees. If you need to set up or terminate your utilities or internet or cable contracts, sometimes that's additional fees. And of course, if you're looking to buy new furnishings or do some upgrades to the new home, then you also want to calculate that in, including the moving expenses. Now, number two is to research your city and determine what neighborhood or what area you want to move to. And that includes like your buying criteria. If you want to be near things like bars and restaurants, or if you're looking to be in the suburbs and be closer to a community of of homes and a community that's near a, a really good school, or if you're looking for a more rural lifestyle, then you need to make sure that you determine which type of lifestyle you're looking for, and then hire a realtor that has expertise in that area that can help you to determine what area is best for you. And in general, you also wanna research schools, crime, and just also possibly use social media as a tool because Instagram and TikTok and YouTube are great areas that you can actually research a specific neighborhood or a specific area and get an idea of the best places to live there or the best places to go for food there or the best places and attractions to take your kids to or yourself to. So it's a great way to use that particular research to determine where you wanna live. And you also wanna research the laws in that state because there may be some differences between state to state and what's required when you move there. If you need to change your driver's license, like here in Texas, you have 30 days to change your driver's license. So these are things you wanna make sure you know. Also, if you're buying here in Texas, you wanna make sure that you understand a homestead exemption because you want to apply for that ASAP because property taxes are the big thing here in Texas. We don't have income tax, but we do have property taxes. And if you homestead your home, then it could save you quite a bit of money in the property tax arena. You also want to understand your cost of living for that new location. Is it going to be more or less from where you are? And going ahead and budgeting your monthly budget based on that, especially if you have a certain finite income that won't change when you move to the new place. And if it's more expensive, you need to make sure that you're budgeting for that. So the third thing that you want to do is a scouting trip. So you wanna go house hunting with your realtor. You wanna see these neighborhoods in person because you may or may not be able to make an offer at that time. You may end up having to make an offer with a phone call or with a, a virtual tour with your realtor. So you wanna make sure that you at least put eyes on the different neighborhoods and you start narrowing down what you really like about an area. And so then it makes it easier and it makes you more confident to put down an offer on a property, whether you actually see it in person on that trip or if you see it later on after, after you've gone back home. Now, the fourth thing that I would recommend doing is finding a new home. That's either with your realtor and finding a house to live in, finding a home to rent, finding an apartment to live in, any of these items, we want you to find a place to live. So then that can also alleviate a lot of that anxiety that someone has when they're moving is that they already know where they're going to be. They can start identifying what kind of new furnishings they want or what things that they can bring and can't bring. So go ahead and find that new home. And then finally, number five is to pack up, move in, and start making friends because one of the big things to help alleviate nerves and to make the move 
easier is to find those friends, follow up on that social media platforms, look up a college that you might have gone to that they might have alumni get togethers here in the, in the area, or just maybe find and reach out to a neighbor and see if there's any neighborhood events going on or actually becoming part of the Facebook group for that neighborhood or the next door app for that neighborhood. I hope you guys found this helpful. If so, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in the great state of Texas, my partners, my team, and I would love to be your real estate resource of choice. So go ahead and reach out to info at bestlifetexas.com and we'll get that process started. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.